Back to Benedetto leading that Guido Express on the bottom of the racetrack. He's got about 10 cars lined up in his back bumper. Ryan Priest cannot hold him off to Benedetto. Now Blaney. Now look, uh, Logano to the third spot. Benedetto does not have to take evasive maneuvers. Doesn't have to change a lane. He'll stay on the bottom against the double yellow line. Oh, Blaney's got a full head of seat. Oh, Blaney just nails to Benedetto and he keeps it in a straight line. Benedetto continues to show the way with Blaney just inches from the back bumper. Here comes Matty D. Matt De Benedetto still leading at Talladega. With two laps to go in the stage and points to be paid out through the top 10 finishers in just two more circuits, the amp is being, or the, the aggressive meter is amped up right now. Matt De Benedetto, Ryan Blaney, they're your front two. Here they come into turn number one. Bottom four now single file. First wheel to wheel battle is for fifth. That's where Kyle Busch grabs the low lane. He'll go to work on Ryan Priest off turn two. The draft in the middle is starting to fall apart. Looks like all of the momentum and energy is shifting down to the bottom lane of the racetrack. That's led by De Benedetto. Move further back from Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He'll fly around the outside of Chase Elliott. They go side by side, racing back for the eighth position. Matt De Benedetto, the race leader. Big line of traffic, chasing him off turn four. One to go in stage number one. Out front, 29-year-old driver from Grass Valley, California. He has never won a stage. He'd like to do that right here, right now. He'll lead him across the line. A bunch of Fords lined up right behind Matty D. Up. Give a tug on those belts. It's about to get serious. They are three wide for the number four position. Kevin Harvick has organized a charge in the inside lane. He's from fourth to third, looking to the inside of Ryan Blaney. Here's Blaney. He'll swing wide to the outside. De Benedetto will do the same. Now Harvick finds himself in the middle with minimal drafting help. Elliott leads the lane down low. Oh, Legato gets turned. Legato is upside down. He'll slam back into the racetrack on the roof of the car. The car is spinning wildly out of control. Now it flips back out onto all four wheels. Others are collected and others evade Joey Logano who goes for a tumble at the end of the Alabama gang super stretch. Big problems over there with Joey Logano. The car went airborne, slammed back down directly on the rooftop. Joey Logano then slid wildly up the banking. He collected his teammate, Brad Keselowski. Also, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. got a piece of it. Back to Mike Bagley. It started at the end of the back straightaway when Joey Logano got turned, and immediately the car began to get airborne. When it did, it went all the way up in the air, and it came down on the roof of the car. The car then began to spin pirouettes on the banking with everybody scattering to avoid Brad Keselowski. Slowski got collected. The Logano car got righted back on all four wheels and then slid to the bottom of the banking here at the end of the back straightaway. It looked like Stenhouse may have gotten into the back of the 11 of Denny Hamlin, who then got shoved into the 22 of Logano. Stenhouse is on pit road right now. Let's follow up there. And the damage would certainly indicate just that, Jeff. It's heavy left front damage to Ricky Stenhouse's car. The entire wheel well area has been completely shredded away and gone. So the car is still up on jacks as the crew continues to monitor and go to work and just make sure that the wheel well area is clear so they won't have a tire rub. But that fender is completely gone on Stenhouse's Chevrolet. And a tough break, obviously. He's always one of the toughest competitors here at these super speedway races. Not uh, not good when you've got damage like this this early in the race. Yeah, Bubba Wallace also got a big piece of it because Joey Logano's car came down on the nose and on the hood of Bubba Wallace's machine. But, yeah, we've had an opportunity a couple of different times to look at the replay. It looks like just plain old super speedway racing where Ricky Stenhouse Jr. got into the back of Hamlin trying to push and shove. He then got into the back of Logano to send him spinning. Stage one is over. It was won for the first time in his career by Matt DiBenedetto. Ryan Blaney finished second. Chase Elliott third. Denny Hamlin fourth. William Byron fifth. Chris Buescher sixth. Alex Bowman seventh. Christopher Bell eighth. Kevin Harvick ninth. And Michael McDowell. 10th. That's the top 10 finishers in this stage brought to you by Blue Green Vacations, the official vacation ownership provider of NASCAR. Blue Green Vacations invites you to believe in the power of vacation. With Blue Green, you can create a lifetime of memories at our collection of unique locally inspired resorts and enjoy exclusive access to VIP NASCAR experiences. Start your vacation journey today at BlueGreenVacations.com. Let's head down to the Care Center in Kim Coon. Yeah, three-time winner at Talladega, Joey Logano, unfortunately won't be able to make it a fourth here today. 
We'll let the cars go by so Joey can hear. Joey, wild ride. You took a tumble there. Are you okay? And what happened? Yeah, I'm fine. I just flew around a little bit. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty lucky uh, that I didn't get hit in the air. Uh, I already had a roll bar that was down towards my head. So uh, I'm, I'm fortunate to be standing here right now. And it's that one hand I'm I'm mad I was in the crash, and the other hand, I'm just happy to be alive. So uh, I'll take what I can at this point, and we'll, we'll go to Kansas. And what happened? Uh, just racing at the end of the stage. Um, big runs on the top side. Everyone's bumping each other. No one's willing to make the move. 47 kind of made the move and hooked the 11 into me. It's, it's this racing. It's what this big spoiler does. This big spoiler is causing big crashes. It's not okay. Early exit on the day for the Auto Trader Ford and its driver, Joey Logano. Yeah, thank you, Kim Kuhn. Glad Joey's okay. MRN's Care Center updates are brought to you by Blue Emu Maximum Pain Relief. Official pain relief cream of NASCAR. Blue Emu products support healthy muscles and joints. Blue Emu, it works fast and you won't stink.